you like attending some of downtown Sarasota's big events, you may soon have to find that fun somewhere else. SNN's Crystal Knowles explains what happened at last night's city commission meeting. City commissioners are now starting to talk about restricting some of the larger events going on in the downtown Sarasota area. Is a benefit from the impact of the event going to our downtown? If it isn't, why are we using our downtown streets? City Commissioner Susan Chapman says the city is working on two drafts of proposed rules to regulate downtown events. One prohibiting any large events closing five blocks or more, and another would require approval by commissioners. But City Commissioner Liz Alpert says they're only targeting one event. Closes more than five blocks. The only event that that is is Thunder by the Bay. Chapman says that event has outgrown the venue. Twelve blocks actually covers most of downtown. Although most events close four city blocks or less, some other special events might be on the chopping block. Thunder by the Bay is one. We talked about the boat show closing, running events that close two lanes of traffic. With some exceptions, half street closures for running events like 5Ks and parades do temporarily close more, but um, those are being exempted. But in the long run, do we favor the one-time event over the year-round business? Alpert says she hopes a more friendly policy can be drafted. There certainly should be certain regulations so that we manage them properly. Discriminating against a particular kind of events, then I'm not for that. In Sarasota, Crystal Knowles, there will be public meetings. SNN Suncoast News Network. The city attorney should have the first draft of the proposals completed within the next few weeks. Public meetings have not been scheduled yet.